The El Paso School District dealing with a budget shortfall and is looking to cut costs where it can. It also has to leave its current headquarters in East Central El Paso because the city wants its land back. Now EPISD must move, but none of its 10 vacant properties are an option. ABC 7's Astrid Rodriguez explains why. Very good neighbors. Lupe Reyes has been living across the street from Lee Elementary in Northeast El Paso for 37 years. The custodians used to live there. She remembers Henry, who lived right across the street from her and worked at the school. Back in the day when you actually had to physically turn on the lights and turn on the heaters at school, you needed a custodian there on call ready for anything, which is why they lived on campus. But now, with the advent of automation, that's a thing of the past. That sense has been done away with, but those, a lot of those homes still remain on our property. Six homes sit vacant, along with three offices and one land parcel. But these properties won't be used to house EPISD administration, which must move from the city-owned central office off Boeing by the end of its lease date in April 2017. We have looked at all of our properties. The land we have in Northeast El Paso is land that we already own. Martinez is referring to the site of the new central office near Kenworthy and Trans Mountain Road in the northeast. It'll cost the district $21.5 million to build a big enough building to house its 800 employees, a number none of the other 10 properties can fit. Martinez says that $21.5 million won't be coming out of the cash-strapped district's general fund. It won't impact the tax rate because, again, it's already um, owned by the the district and will use quality construction school construction bonds in order to build the new building again with the minimal effect to the taxpayer. The district is actively trying to sell the properties which has since been appraised a total 1.5 million. This would barely dent the district's financial needs. But it would get Lupe that new neighbor she's been waiting on for more than 20 years. <laughs> And that was Ashley Rodriguez reporting. Just about a year ago, the district paid $25,000 to raise it, redesign the executive offices inside the current building. Most of the money was spent on furniture, which will travel to the new location in the northeast. But the rest of the building will be completely demolished since it must be leveled by spring 2017.